Give me a minute and let's talk about uh, a talking point, a Russian talking point. The talking point is that the U.S. can't support both Ukraine and Israel at the same time. This is nonsense of the first order. In the first place, the Gaza Strip is smaller than Kiev, the city I live in. Smaller than Kiev. You could drop two Gaza Strips in here and still have room for the whole Ohovitsky Park. Ukraine has a thousand mile front line where artillery barrages account for as many as 40,000 shells a day. That's not the case in, in Israel. The Israelis are well supplied, well stocked. They're going to need very different things from us than the Ukrainians need. That's the first thing. The second thing is they're going to need a lot less of it. They don't really need our help the way that Ukraine needs it. They need our support, certainly. And there are going to be requests for things, but by all accounts, they're going to be very different things, with the exception maybe of some air defense, than Ukraine needs. What we've been sending to Ukraine is 20, 30, 40 year old equipment and ammunition. You, Israel, on the other hand, is going to need our high tech support and a little muscle, like that carrier strike group that moved into the Eastern Mediterranean to dissuade any other state actors in the area from getting involved. There is no need to choose. We're the United States of America. We're 4% of the world, but 20% of the global economy. The other thing to think about here, especially if you're a member of Congress, what does it say to the rest of the world if you get on the TV and say, oh, we can't handle two conflicts at once, what kind of a message does that send to Iran, to North Korea, to China, to our enemies? We can't handle two conflicts at once? Do you understand the nature of the United States military? Do you understand the resource capabilities that the United States has? Why are you so anxious to see the United States fail and Russia win? I'd really like to know. I'm just asking a question. Why? Why? To our allies in Ukraine and Israel, I'm, I'm nobody. I'm just an American. But I have a high degree of confidence in the White House and the vast majority of both the Republican and Democratic caucuses that we're not going anywhere, guys. We're going to be there through this thing for everybody as much as we can. And we have a responsibility to be there. For those who say we don't, You got to get out more. You got to get out more. Thanks.